Good morning. Uh, my first ever video on YouTube and today I'm going to be talking about re-staking a tomato plant and taking off side shoots, which I think a few people are a bit concerned about. Okay, uh, this tomato plant here is a variety called Moneymaker. It's a pretty standard variety here in the UK. Um, it's already started producing its fruit. Um, this one here is roughly two months old now. It's, it's grown phenomenally, but it's also grown in a polytunnel. Um, okay, as you can see, the stake is far too small for the size of this plant. So um, what you want to do is take out whatever's tying it on first of all, remove, uh, get the new stake in place. Don't really worry too much if the stake is wider than the stake that you previously taken out um, and going through the roots and stuff like that because, well, it's a tomato plant and it will survive. Um, okay, so if I go ahead and uh, push that through, uh, sometimes you do hear a bit of a crunch, but that's not to be worried about. Okay, before I get to tying it, another thing is the tidying up of the tomato plant. Um, as you can see here, um, above this side branch, we have on top of the node, a offshoot. These offshoots here are absolutely brilliant. If you're say using a trellis or some kind of training for the tomato, um, to have it branching off in all different directions, this will start producing fruit. Uh, later on but if you're looking for a more slender plant uh, if room is a concern um, then simply take them off like you know um, what you want to do is see if I can do this one-handed is snap it towards the branch then you get a really satisfying click pinch and pull click pinch and pull that's my technique it works works for me uh, you'll probably find a technique that works for you what you want to do is take off every single one you're not taking off the branch you're taking off the um, bit above the branch even um the one up there was tall but you're going to get smaller ones like this perhaps they, they need to come off as well because they will eventually turn into bigger ones what you don't want to be pulling off is these these here are the fruit bearing branches um, usually signified on tomatoes by a little flower um, yeah, you don't want to be taking those off. Those are not usually on the node of the plant. They're usually slightly higher to the side maybe, but very distinctive. Um, you should be all right. Um, those eventually will turn into your fruit. And um, yeah, so if uh, I carry on taking off some of these, I dine here, I look, another bigger one in there, um, right next to the fruit. You, uh, that, these um, ones will be fine. Um, if, you, if you're looking to do other stuff with the tomato plant, like if you're looking to put them in um, hanging baskets, which we, you were looking for as many nodes then as possible uh, to have branching out all over the place. Uh, sorry if the sun's a bit bright there. Um, yeah, um, they look fantastic in hanging baskets. You're looking for a more um, bushy plant then, so keep the nodes on. But yeah, like I said, just take them off. Then when you come to do it, um, put the stake back in, then retie and you're fine. Thank you.